Welcome to the world of the unexplained, where today we plunge into the enigma of Amelia Earhart, a pioneering female aviator. She was a woman of firsts, the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean, and the first to receive the distinguished flying cross. Yet, her most enduring legacy lies not in her triumphs, but in an enigma. The year 1937 saw her vanish during an ambitious flight around the globe, so who was Amelia Earhart? And why has her disappearance become one of aviation's greatest mysteries? The year was 1937. Earhart was embarking on what was to be her longest and most ambitious flight yet. She planned to circumnavigate the globe, a feat only accomplished by a few before her. Her journey commenced from Miami, Florida, and was to cover a staggering 29,000 miles with a significant leg over the formidable Pacific Ocean. Earhart was not alone in this daring venture. She was accompanied by her navigator, Fred Noonan. Together, they set off, their eyes filled with excitement and a touch of apprehension. The world watched with bated breath as they flew from one waypoint to the next. The last known communication from Earhart was received near Howland Island in the Pacific. Her voice crackling over the radio relayed a simple but chilling message. We must be on you, but we cannot see you. Fuel is running low. Then, on July 2nd, the world lost contact with Amelia. She vanished, never to be found. With her last known position somewhere over the vast Pacific Ocean, the hunt for Amelia began. On that fateful day in July 1937, the world held its breath as the daring aviatrix and her navigator Fred Noonan vanished without a trace. Their ambitious plan to circumnavigate the globe was suddenly and tragically halted leaving behind a mystery that would endure for generations. In the immediate aftermath, an extensive search and rescue operation was launched. The United States government spared no expense, deploying an armada of nine naval ships and 66 aircraft in a desperate bid to locate the lost flyers. For 15 relentless days, they scoured an area of over 250,000 square miles, an expanse larger than the size of Texas. The Pacific, in its vastness and unforgiving nature, offered no signs of the missing plane or its occupants. Meanwhile, on land, local islanders were enlisted to assist in the search, combing the coastline for any signs of wreckage. Yet, despite the intensive efforts, the Pacific remained silent, its secrets undisturbed. The search was eventually called off on July the 19th, leaving behind a void filled with questions and speculations. The disappearance of Amelia Earhart, one of the world's most celebrated aviators, sent shockwaves around the globe. It also sparked a series of investigations, theories, and even mythical stories, each trying to untangle the enigma that is Amelia's fate. Despite the best efforts of the search teams, no trace of Earhart or her plane was ever found. With no concrete evidence to explain her disappearance, speculation and conspiracy theories began to bubble up, each more tantalizing and intriguing than the last. The mystery of Amelia Earhart's fate has spawned a multitude of theories, each attempting to fill in the blanks of this enduring enigma. One of the most persistent theories suggests that Earhart was actually a spy for the United States government. According to this narrative, her round-the-world flight was a cover for a covert reconnaissance mission to photograph Japanese military installations in the Pacific. Some even believe that she was captured by the Japanese and lived out her years in captivity a pawn in a larger geopolitical game. Another popular theory speculates that Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan did not crash into the Pacific Ocean as officially reported. Instead, they argue that the pair made an emergency landing on an uninhabited island where they ultimately perished, marooned and helpless. Proponents of this theory point to a series of distressed radio signals received in the days following her disappearance as evidence that Earhart and Noonan were alive and calling for help. Yet perhaps the most intriguing theory is that Earhart staged her own disappearance. This theory suggests that, tired of the pressures of fame and desperate for a normal life, Earhart meticulously planned her vanishing act. She and Noonan, according to this narrative, slipped into obscurity, leaving behind a world enthralled and confounded by their sudden absence. And then there are the recent discoveries that have added fuel to the fire of speculation. In 2017, a photograph surfaced that some believe shows Earhart and Noonan in the Marshall Islands after their disappearance. The image, blurry and indistinct, has been hotly debated, 
with some arguing it's definitive proof of their survival, while others dismiss it as wishful thinking. In 2018, a team of forensic scientists announced that bones discovered on Nikumaroro Island in the South Pacific in 1940 could, in fact, belong to Earhart. If true, this could lend credence to the theory that Earhart and Noonan landed and died on the island. However, the findings have been met with skepticism and the bones themselves have unfortunately been lost, leaving this potential clue frustratingly out of reach. And so the theories continue to swirl, each offering a different perspective on what might have happened to Amelia Earhart. From spy missions and secret identities to desperate survival attempts on deserted islands, the possibilities seem as endless as the vast Pacific Ocean itself. While these theories provide fascinating food for thought, the truth remains elusive. Despite the countless hours of research, the meticulous analysis of evidence and the fervent debates, the mystery of Amelia Earhart's disappearance persists, and perhaps it's this very mystery this tantalizing unknown that keeps us eternally fascinated, forever searching for answers in the endless expanse of sky and sea.